It's almost the weekend. It's day number three of the Dodge County Fair near Beaver Dam. And here today in the fairest update, I'm here with the co-chair of the Dodge County Farm Bureau 4-H food stand here in the co-op building, Dan Guterberg. Right. You are here. You're doing a lot. Just give me a brief introduction of yourself. Well, I'm, uh, I've been the co-chair now for probably over 10 years. Uh, my my uh, other uh, uh, chairperson is Georgia Schindel and her husband are helping us. Uh, my wife Marilyn also helps and uh, then we have volunteers that sign up to work and and also uh, the 4-H uh, kids uh, uh, come in as a group with uh, uh, two adults usually and and they work the windows and, and share in part of the proceeds from the profits of the Mm -hmm. the fair food stand. And you have a whole menu here. You're one of our many vendors here at the fairgrounds. What, what's some of that on your menu? Uh, we have uh, 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 we have beef and gravy, pork, uh, pulled pork, uh, mm -hmm. barbecued pork, basically. Uh, we have uh, 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 a Polish, uh, Polish and kraut sausages and uh, hot dogs. And, and uh, one of our uh, favorite things is, is the grilled cheese sandwiches. This year we had a special we're kind of out of ham now, but we had a special of grilled cheese and ham, and uh, they sold like hotcakes this year. So <laughs> it was a real good idea on George's part. Yeah. So. And where's your cheese from? The cheese is from Kramer's at Watertown, and oh. uh, uh, Rick has been uh, tremendously great when it comes mm -hmm. to uh, keeping a, keeping product uh, on our shelves mm -hmm. and, and uh, for us to serve to our our. Uh, our guests that come to our our booth. Yeah, I feel like so. a proud Wisconsinite when I ask that. Where's your cheese from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, before we get into really what food you can enjoy here and many of our vendors, let's get into what's happening today at the fair. It's Friday. Right. What is right. something you're looking forward to here today? Well, uh, uh, today probably is uh, is uh, uh, we usually we usually work until about ten o'clock at night and. And so uh, I know the music is always a big attraction. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's Dell tonight. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. I'm I'm more into uh, probably tractor pulls, horse pulls, okay. and then truck pulls and, mm. and we stuff have all, like that. We have all and that's that. that's all coming coming yet. So yeah, the horse and, pull tomorrow, and uh, gosh, so yeah, many other things. Rock and roll band. Yeah, Grand Funk Railroad yep, tomorrow. Yep, gosh, yep. well. In the meantime, here during the day, there are a lot of shows happening, like the Junior Fair Dairy Showmanship starting at 9 a.m. We also have the Little Bridges Showmanship Contest, not the Little Bridges, the Junior Bridges Showmanship Contest following that. We have the Junior Fair Poultry Show, show chickens, ducks, turkeys. Do you, do you yes. like poultry? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, there is a lot to it and enjoy um, with, with judging that's continuing to happen. Today is supposed to be a better day weather-wise. Yes. There may be some sprinkles, but our free family fun stages will be continuing with some of their fun things, like our Wild World of Animals, Nick's Kids stage. Mm -hmm. Some dogs, have you been able to get to any of those yet? No, I have not. I've, I've been uh, kind of concentrating <laughs> on everything that's going on in our in our food stand. Mm -hmm. and, and so uh, uh, it's... it's uh, it's it's always it's always uh, a, a, a week that I look forward to, yeah. and uh, I enjoy enjoy meeting people and and uh, and uh, dealing with the problems that mm -hmm. have to be uh, dealt with. Yeah. So we also have the open class dairy show later today, and you may see a lot of these cows that you'll see throughout throughout this fair in our futurity that's happening tomorrow, and that's very special to Dodge County, is it's Absolutely. like cow from. Yes. So. That'll be fun. Yes, and we do, we, uh, through our stand here, we do uh, uh, supply milk for, uh, for the, uh, for refreshments for some of those uh, programs that are going on over there at the dairy barn. Mm -hmm. I was a past dairy exhibitor, and I remember yesterday at the dairy show, I was so excited. I, was, I missed the fair a few days last year, and mm -hmm. uh, I was so excited to see the cookies and the milk. Um, mm -hmm. as that's always given to the exhibitors and supporters at the Dodge County Fair, just in, in the Farm Progress Arena. So I had yep. some of that milk yesterday. Oh, you did, good, and good. It, was, it hit the spot. <laughs> yep, yep, that was also came from Kramer's. Cool, gosh, and then later tonight we have 
mats down. We also have wristband day on the Midway. You can find those exact times on the DodgeCountyFairgrounds.com website. But what I'm really looking forward to, Matt Stell, I love country music, is his song, Praying For You. And oh boy, yeah, it'll, it'll that's be, a good one. Yeah, it'll be a fun song. And last night I stayed for the Tracy Bird concert and mm -hmm. there, were, there were some people in the stands, not as packed, but mm -hmm. there were still quite a bit. And, um, it just sprinkled just a little bit. Yep, yep. And so when I think about concerts, spending mm -hmm, only $15 mm -hmm. or $10 before noon to get mm -hmm, into this park, mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, absolutely. And rain makes uh, just the little things more mm -hmm. exciting, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, and I talked to uh, a fellow last night that is one of the, one of the uh, Mark Tiller, one of the fellows that uh, is, is uh, 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 he, uh, he gives rides to people mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, he was saying that uh, some of his family had traveled over 100 miles to come to see Tracy Bird wow. last night. Wow. So. And it, uh, we, we rarely cancel a concert, only for lightning. So yes. that's yes. just some reminders these next few days. But uh, it should be some, some fun. But now getting mm -hmm. to food. I mean, that's what people enjoy at the fair when, when you go to some of these shows. You yep. enjoy the food. And Absolutely. here we have so many vendors, chicken mm -hmm. tenders. Mm -hmm. I know that's a, yes. a classic. You know, thing you can make at home, but I mean, they hit different here with fries. We have our house of fries vendor. Yeah, absolutely. We have some other booths. So we're right across from the, the Beekeepers Association. Yep. But here, we're here at the 4-H and Farm Bureau stand. Mm -hmm. We had mentioned the menu a little bit, but what's special about the food that you make here? Well, the, the food that we use here, uh, uh, most of the product comes from Leroy Locker and uh, at Horicon and, and Fox Lake, they have two stores. And uh, uh, this year, especially, I believe that the product is, is top grade. And, uh, and we always give generous portions on our sandwiches and, and uh, it keeps people coming back. And the product this year is, is uh, actually, actually is not really out of, out of, out of hand with uh, the pricing. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we were able to hold our prices and still make a, uh, some profit to share with the 4 Hers and and uh, and boost our boost our budget a little bit and uh, and it's always fun it's always fun working with the kids because uh, they come into the they come into the uh, fair food stand some of them are kind of timid and and once they get up to the window and they they relax a little bit then boy it's so much fun to watch them blossom into a person that can get a job done. And, and do it right. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it, it makes me feel proud to be a, a Farm Bureau. Uh, uh, I'm all, I almost feel sometimes like a teacher. <laughs> and uh, so we've had, we've had uh, some kids come in. Last year we had a young, young lady that had broken her hip uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 tubing. Mm -hmm. And uh, she came in with a walker and, and stumping around and I says, well, I'll put you on the put you on the uh, soft serve machine. That way, you don't have to move around. Well, that wasn't good enough for her. Pretty soon, she was stumping back and forth from the from the uh, from the service window to uh, pick up food and transfer it back to the customer again. And and uh, we had such a such a good it made gave me such a good feeling to to watch her yeah. do that. You know, uh, going from. Uh, like uh, not feeling like she was capable or anything and, and to see her blossom into something like that. So it, it reminds you that to many of our jobs, you know, as we continue into young people in, yes. in college and high school after college, is that communication skills will be used in every job and right. customer service skills will be used Absolutely. in every job. And so I know I was a past volunteer here at this stand and it taught me a lot, it taught mm -hmm. me on how to communicate. Um, but most importantly, you help distribute these funds towards youth organizations like 4-H. Like, how do you how do you use this money? And what do you hope it goes for? Uh, there, there are some of the programs. I know there's some money that goes to the to the dairy shows, uh, but uh, uh, ours go into uh, mostly informational stuff. You know, uh, and uh, we have the Farm City Day where uh, the fourth graders come out to the farm. This year, we were out at. Dave Roscoff's farm, and uh, and uh, uh, and he's a neighbor of mine, obviously. <laughs> and and uh, we we uh, uh, I I forget how many kids there were out there. I think it was like 300 and some kids out there. Mm -hmm. And that program really uh, 
really is very informational. You have a lot of different stations to, uh, to inform the children about uh, what thing, how things go on the farm and what, what different products are used for and how the, how the feed is fed to them, all of that, you know, to convert it into milk. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, um, so that's, that's, that's kind of what, uh, what uh, that program is about. And, and also we have a, uh, uh, an annual meeting. Farm Bureau is an organization that tries to help promote uh, the betterment of the agricultural community. And we also have resolutions that we uh, produce every year and use them for uh, for trying to uh, uh, help the uh, uh, help to the betterment of the of the uh, farming community uh, by by uh, helping talking to our legislators and stuff like that. I'm a Farm Bureau member myself, and I was able to go to Washington D.C. last September with my organization. Okay, and mm -hmm. it just reminded me that we're advocates of the agricultural community. Absolutely, and that there is a group, a network to really be a part of, and to to learn, and just to continue to feel supported in the in this community. Yeah. Tell me about how how can you join Farm Bureau? What does it look like here in Dodge County? Well, uh, if you were to, we have 17 directors, I believe, and uh, if you would find out who your director is for your rep, or your representative is for your area, uh, a person could could then, if you were uh, felt comfortable with it, you could then sign up and become a member, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, by contacting uh, somebody like myself or or. Uh, uh, if you went to uh, Farm Bureau, uh, I forget what the website is now, but uh, they could they could give you the information that you need yeah. to uh, to uh, be able to uh, uh, sign up for that. Mm -hmm. What's the value of the Farm Bureau membership for you? Uh, the value is is way more, way way more than than what uh, what the cost is and. Uh, uh, we have, uh, over the years, uh, uh, you know, uh, inflation always causes it to go up, but uh, the value is, 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 is in uh, what you share with the community that, and, the, and the organization that you belong to. Uh, you, should, you should always feel like, uh, uh, what can you do for the organization uh, to make it better? And, and, uh, uh, it's it's almost like like any other community service. If you uh, uh, if you are the kind of person that is willing to donate your time and and become a member, uh, it's a for me it's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, it it uh, it makes me feel more like I'm a part of uh, our community, our state, and our country. Mm -hmm. Now, also part of these funds that you are getting here is, is donated to, to 4-H. Tell me about that. Uh, the, monies, the monies that get donated actually goes to the 4-H leaders and then those, those uh, 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 groups then can apply to them if they have an idea for uh, 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 an event that they want to do. Uh, from what I understand, they can apply to the leaders group for for uh, parts of those money to uh, to do the program that they want to do. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, uh, if there's a committee that decides who gets that money, I am not sure. <laughs> no, so, that that uh, provides some some understanding to our to our people who are watching. Yep. But also, not only is there your part on one end of the building, there's another part to this yes. co-op building. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, uh, uh, the women, uh, the WWA is the Wisconsin Women for Agriculture. And uh, I've known uh, the, uh, some of the ladies, uh, uh, some of them I knew quite well. Some of them are now uh, retired out. And uh, every one of them that, that belong to that organization are our hard workers. Um, uh, there isn't a one of them I don't think that uh, that uh, I know and respect that uh, wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be afraid to. If the ball gets dropped, they'll pick it up and they'll get the job done. Yeah. 
and uh, uh, same way with uh, with the 4-H uh, group that has uh, uh, the cream puff stand, mm -hmm. which is Janie Schmidt, and she uh, she uh, uh, is a person that believes in 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 the same values as as the women for uh, Wisconsin women for agriculture. Mm -hmm. So. So you have a cream puff on that end yes. that they do, and some ice cream. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. else is there? Uh, there is uh, uh, the, the cream puff stand. They also sell, I believe, watermelon slices, Ooh. and and um, and they do they do have caramel apple. Uh, I believe it's uh, with a dip and some slices of apples, Yum. and it's uh, very good. So. Uh, I know I, I help them out once in a while, <laughs> and so then in return, I usually get some either some ice cream, uh, an ice cream sundae or, or uh, a cream puff. Mm -hmm. so. Man, sounds yummy. Now, on your end, we had mentioned it a little bit, hamburgers, grilled cheese, yes. anything else? Yeah. Not hamburgers. No, uh, not hamburgers. Uh, My beef apologies. And, beef and gravy and pulled pork. Okay, that's what it was, yep. the pulled yep. pork. Yes. I don't know how that associates, but it's meat. It's yeah. protein. Yep. I know you can have so much fair food here, but oh, make absolutely. sure, sure we uh, try, yep. to, try to get in that level too. And and I'm not I'm not against anybody going out into the <laughs> into the midway and, and coming back with a big plate full of greasy food because mm -hmm. I used to love to do that too. Yeah, and it's a balance, especially if you're here every day like we are. Yep, yep, um, yep. It's like you gotta celebrate at some of those booths. Absolutely. Um, like I always love a Ben's pretzels, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I always love here grilled cheese. Yep. That's a good go to. Yep. Now Absolutely. you're open here in the morning. Tell me about your hours, what people can expect in the morning. Well, usually, usually we uh, uh, have, uh, have uh, our donuts we have uh, by eight o'clock in the morning. And uh, um, uh, since since we're one of the early birds here, uh, I'll uh, once we have our our donuts set up, I'll go to the north door, and I'll throw that door wide open, which is straight up, and I'll holler out both directions: the donuts are here, the donuts <laughs> are here on the top of my lungs, and uh, it's kind of fun though, as all of a sudden you hear people running. <laughs> They're like, and, we're excited. Yes, and uh, and uh, I think the fastest we ever got rid of, uh, I think it was like three boxes of donuts, was 20 minutes. Oh my gosh! Yep. Wow. Yep. Uh, they uh, they did not take long to devour the sweets. No. Nope. So, and uh, I know uh, uh, it has it has been kind of become a signature for us to do that. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, 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 so everybody's been coming. They usually it's a donut and chocolate milk, <laughs> and yep. so. But mm -hmm. uh, and of course the fellows over there, some of them are milking, milking their cows. And uh, I don't know if you've ever heard this before, but uh, uh, you know, cows. Uh, some farmers will talk to their cows, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, uh, usually when they talk to them, they give more milk, and <laughs> uh, they'll whisper, uh, whisper in the, mm -hmm. in one ear and. And uh, and uh, they, they whisper in one ear, and out comes the milk out the other. I would be interested to hear the science of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I grew up on a dairy farm myself, so mm -hmm. if, I, mm -hmm. if I talked to every cow, I, I wish that would then happen, right? Right. So then right. having a donut and enjoying that, I, I bet it, it's definitely good. Sure. And then you're open till 10 p.m. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Usually, it's it's uh, very very close to 10 p.m. When uh -huh. we uh, last night it was 10 to 10 when we uh, closed the doors. Great. Well, so. this year, what what has it looked like so far? Uh, uh, yesterday was a was a fairly decent day. Wednesday, uh, my co-chair said Wednesdays uh, a lot of the times is is almost our big day, biggest ah. day. So, but uh, I know last year. Last year was a phenomenal year, and uh, uh, this one now uh, we we have a little bit of rain raining on our parade, but uh, I think uh, uh, it'll all it'll all work itself okay. out. So, do you have an idea of how many grilled cheeses or some of those products you ha you have yeah. in a typical year? Well, one of our signature uh, drinks is the malt, uh -huh. and uh, and uh, usually between four and five thousand. Malts we uh, we wow. sell in in a in a fair in a week fair, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, 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 we've always we've always tried to serve a, a we have a ten ounce cup and usually uh, some of our fellows that uh, do the filling wind up uh, 
about two ounces over that 10 ounce cup. So, <laughs> and we try to give it the, the Dairy Queen quality mm, tip on it. Okay. So, Gosh. But, uh, 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 yeah, the, uh, uh, as far as uh, uh, grilled cheeses, I would say I would say that's well well above uh, uh, I would say well above 2,500 might even be 3,000 wow. sandwiches. It's quite a bit. And and uh, I know Kramer's uh, they have a special I guess on uh, uh, now on grilled cheeses and and malts on Thursdays they'll do that and and uh, and. Uh, uh, I guess every Thursday they do that. Yeah, I so. am from Watertown, so oh, yeah. I have seen those, and I'm looking forward to going again because mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. they are fun and it's affordable too. Yes, so absolutely. It's uh, just fun to see this community come together and mm -hmm. come mm -hmm. on out to some of our vendors and eat breakfast, lunch, dinner here yes. at the co-op building. But some more fun questions for you. Sure. Uh, this week, you know, we have today, Saturday, and Sunday. What are you most looking forward to? Uh, 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 I know the demo derby. Ooh. I don't get to watch that as much because usually we're fairly busy mm -hmm. on Sunday and and, uh, and then we're trying to figure out how we're going to meld our meld our, our the last the last bit of inventory how we're going to meld that together mm -hmm. some way shape or form and yeah. so uh but uh that uh, on on uh sunday morning is also the truck pull and uh uh i don't uh, if i get a chance to squeak away from here then i'll i'll go over and i'll watch the truck pull a little bit one of our one of our directors uh does does uh, do some pulling yeah. and so then wow. we get to we get to hear about how sometimes sometimes it, he gets close to breaking sometimes he's <laughs> successful mm -hmm. naturally as, as a tractor puller right yeah yeah as a truck puller truck pull, okay. yep yep mark is a mark is a uh pretty pretty uh, pretty good guy with uh, uh making things go mm -hmm. so. now fair food what's your what's your favorite uh so far uh the gyro oh that's that's one of the things that i uh uh, if I have to spend money at another at another food stand, it would be the gyro. Wow. Or gyro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Too funny. All right. Last question. Sure. Uh, if you had one one thing you want people to know here that are watching about the Dodge County Fair, what would you want them to know? Well, that uh, that uh, that it's a, a place you can come to have fun. Uh, sample all the different foods that are here depending on what what you want to buy it's gonna it's gonna be for anybody's budget uh, whether you want to go out on the midway or you want to come to us uh, uh, also uh, we've had uh, from as I've been I've been with this affiliated with this uh, fair food stand for over 10 years now I think Wow. and uh, I believe that that uh, uh, it's it's safe you can come here and have fun. Your kids can have fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw little kids running around alone. I mean, uh, it's it's a an area that I believe that uh, uh, it's it's safe, fun, uh, plenty of food to get. If there is any problems or anything, uh, we have uh, Sheriff Schmidt's got uh, the security covered uh, top to bottom, mm -hmm. and uh, that that uh, 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 you can you can give your kids 20 bucks or 50 bucks and let them go <laughs> yep and have and, fun and have fun and same way in the in the cattle barns and everything i mean there there's people around all the time and and uh, uh, i i at that age now where i know a lot of people and a lot of people know me and and uh, uh, i feel that this is this is a probably one of the best fairs in Wisconsin. Yeah, it's a fun fair. Yes. And going back to Sheriff Schmidt, he, I interviewed him earlier this week and he had mentioned those kid cards. So if you are sending them out across the fair, make sure you get like a kid card printed out and have right, right. all the details they need to know just in case yep. something were to happen. And it helps yes. you, you know, especially if you have like a five, six year old. Right, right. And, uh, and they wind up losing, that. losing their parent and then, then the sheriff has to find the parent. Mm -hmm. The kid is found, but the parent is not. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Gosh. But uh, 
Uh, we did have, uh, that was two years ago, where we did have uh, uh, an, uh, an older couple that uh, she lost her husband. <laughs> and, and he was sitting on the opposite end of the fair and she was over here. So we put the, uh, uh, we put a, uh, put the, uh, 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 the fair security on that and within uh, 10 minutes they had it, the whole problem solved. Mm -hmm. Gosh. So. Well, thanks for coming on here, Dan. Is there you anything bet. else that you would like to mention? No, no, other than other than to cra congratulate you on on uh, your your position that you uh, are are in right now, mm -hmm. and and uh, hope it takes you qu uh, quite a bit further. Well, thank you so much. I you appreciate bet. you joining, and gosh, it makes me hungry. I don't know about you all, but sure. I'm excited to come out here, have a grilled cheese, a malt, whatever it may be, open from 8-ish to 10 p.m.-ish. Just come on out here. I bet they'll be here, and just a lot of fair food to enjoy. Thanks for joining here today on a Fairest Update. I have some more until Sunday, so stay tuned, and have a good day, and hope to see you here at the Dodge County Fair. I'm Michelle Stingler, your 2024 Dodge County Fairest of the Fair.